My name is Rose Arrieta. I am a research nurse in the Department of Surgery. I've been here at University of Chicago and working in different areas of clinical research for the past 11 years and the past five years as a research nurse in surgery. And I want to talk to you about clinical trials because your phys physician may ask you to participate in a clinical trial. A clinical trial, which is also known as clinical research, is a research study in human volunteers to answer specific questions. The purpose is to help find better ways to prevent, to treat, to diagnose um, different diseases and disorders. The University of Chicago Medical Center conducts clinical research because it's part of our mission here as an academic center. We are leaders in clinical trials. We perform the most in the state of Illinois. You would consider participating in a clinical trial because it would give you access to different treatments that might not be readily available. Medicines and some of the medical care that's part of the clinical trial could also be covered and to contribute to research that could potentially benefit others in the future. Before participating in the clinical trial, you should feel comfortable about asking all types of questions to the research team. Some of the things that you should consider are what is the purpose of the study, what are the benefits from the study if there are any, what are the alternatives if I decide not to go on the trial, what are the risks, the benefits, the cost, um, confidentiality questions, and you can also invite a friend or a relative to come along with you on that visit for support and so that they can also hear some of the answers to your questions. People of all different ages, genders, ethnicities can participate. This includes healthy volunteers and those who might have a specific diagnosis or disorder. But you should know that all clinical trials have an inclusion and exclusion criteria. And in order to determine if you can participate, you would have to um, qualify and be eligible for that study. Your participation in a clinical trial is voluntary and is confidential. And if you choose not to participate in the clinical trial, your care at University of Chicago is not affected. The clinical trial process depends on what type of study you are participating in. Overall, you work with doctors and nurses and a group of Health, other healthcare professionals that consist of the research team. There are specific instructions for each trial. Sometimes you'll have to undergo more tests and have to come to the hospital more often than if you were just getting standard of care. And you are closely monitored for the entire life of the trial and sometimes even after the trial is over. Some of the benefits in taking part of a clinical trial may include that the treatment that you're getting on the clinical trial could be more effective than what the standard treatment could be. Um, you would be getting these treatments that are not readily available to others. The results of the clinical trial could help others in the future and you may be the first to actually benefit from this treatment. Some of the potential risks could be that the treatment from the clinical trial is not more effective than what your standard of care treatment could be. There could be serious or even life-threatening side effects due to the treatment that you're getting in the clinical trial. The protocol may require more time and responsibility on your part versus your standard of care, meaning that you would have to undergo more tests and come to the hospital more often. Informed consent is a process that takes place to help you decide whether or not you want to participate in a clinical trial. It's a process that takes place um, from the beginning of a trial and throughout the trial so that you understand everything that you will undergo in the study. 
The research team provides you with an informed consent document that gives you the details about the study and will list um, the purpose of the study, the cost of the trial, benefits, risks, um, confidentiality information, um, contact information, among a few things to mention. And you decide if you want to sign this document, and you sign it if you choose to participate. But you should know that it's not a contract, and if you decide to come off the study at any time, even if you've signed the informed consent, you can.